How's that now? Can you hear me now, Mr. Carter? Yay! Success! are enjoying your break. Mr. Carter, I'm intrigued. I 
Pedro, que está aquí. Let's jump into the game. It's not going to be on stream tonight. There sadly was not a patch for this game since we last streamed it. What's that, Snowy? The professor's shoe. He has to be close. I had actually contemplated. Professor, can you hear me? Patch. I'm also kind of enjoying it too much to do that. Very amazing. What do you say? Okay. We're looking at a potential uh, competitor Fifty Shades series, or is it just a Professor. random one-off? It seems like the dangers the professor warned of are already here. Heavens, look at that! I really wish the developers had been able to finish this game. Hopefully. Well, everything looks quiet for now. I hope there's nothing else besides those loose pillars. Not using the bag. Anyway. Yeah. On holidays, something big. Maybe. Plus, again, from the roof. Good one. I can't believe we're in an Egyptian tomb. Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. I'm down. Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. My sound is Game sound is okay. It's not good. Hmm. How's it sounding now, Mr. Carter? Oh, bits and pieces. Oh well, shit, that's not good. Is it sounding any better now? Sounds okay now. Okay. Let's see how it goes. If it does it again, if you could let me know, that would be appreciated. Or anyone in chat. For Are these channels for decoration, or do they have some kind of connection with that symbol? I'm betting they're not going to be just for decoration. Thumbs up emoji. <laughs> doing last playing mass effect legendary edition which mass effect we up to oh son of a bitch this is gonna be interesting all right this is a bit tricky but the only way to get it right is to get it wrong first trying to actually make sense of what's what. Okay, so that shows us Mass Effect 2. That's the first one I played too. I absolutely loved it. Okay, so I think... 
should go after. Oh, I hell. This is really tricky. Watch out for the ads, guys. Um, okay, so all the. I can move pieces up and down to save them for later. Yes, you can. Aha. It's funny because none of those look like a tailpiece at all, do they? I've never actually played the first one, uh, believe it or not, Gamer. I only played the second and the third. That sounded like the good kind of click. Look, the snake Good. symbol has sunken into the door. Perhaps we can open the door if we do the same thing with the others. Uh, I can tell you why. <laughs> when I played Mass Effect 2, it was on PlayStation. And they never got Mass Effect 1 until quite a few years after the third one was released. And I just never got back to playing it. Um, yeah. Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. And now I feel like Perhaps it's kind we can of... open the door if we do the same thing with the others. Now I feel like it's a bit too far gone for me to go back and, and play it. And I've forgotten so much of two and three. I don't know if it's I guess it could be worth it to play through all of them again. Maybe one day. Oh, this is interesting. One piece is clearly different from the rest. Yeah, that's very observant of you, Tintin. So sure. Hey, got it. Look, the wave symbol has sunken into the door. I didn't know it was going to have a lot Look, of puzzles. Look, The professor fair, was Carl. right about the mysteries in these tombs. <laughs> but at least the puzzles aren't too bad compared to some of the games I've played. You're kidding me, right? That I have to... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so I can just do like a trial and error thing. That's not so bad. No. We did it. Hey. Oh no. Some jigsaw. A new melody. I've actually. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention.
Now we've got it. Hey. Well, what's a first without a second, oh, and no. a second without a third? Archaeologists that we're following Hooray! get through the all this with the doors so closed behind him. That's what I'd like to know. Huh? Did the door just slam shut of its own accord? Hmm. Look! The professor's other shoe. I guess he did get through. How have you been, gamer? Thanks for sharing that camping video, by the way. That's a bit modern for ancient Egypt. Must find a way to open it, or else we'll never find him. Don't you think, Snowy? Snowy? Snowy, where are you going? Snowy, where are you going? Why are you running? Stop! This could all cave in at any moment. Be careful, you could get hurt. Maybe I should be careful too. And don't fall. You've got this, Tintin. We have no rope. I hope nothing happens to him. Come on, he's gonna be fine. He's the smartest dog in the world. Ouch. Ouch! Why is the floor so hard? I knew the second I pushed it. That was gonna go badly then. Course. That's it. Have you picked up the professor's scent? But then why can't he hear me? Snowy, uh -huh. come here! 
Listen to him, Snowy. Oh, crumbs! Snowy, be careful! It's full of traps around here! Yeah, Snowy doesn't care. No, 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 no! Yes! Good thing he's too small to fall into them. Too bad I'm not. It's just charging a head through. All these traps can only mean one thing. Bloody hell. Seriously. Just one thing. We're getting closer to the tomb of Kiosk. And probably also to the Professor. But wait, the Professor spoke of a curse. And no Egyptologist ever come back. Maybe. Maybe that's the curse of Chaos. Maybe. Run till you go mad. Better polite, because we're stuck in a maze Snowy, of stop. sorts forever. Come back here! Now! You're in danger! Listen to me! This is so lucky. You've been to a hit toddler. by the curse of Kiosk! Try the menu that kept crashing last time, but I don't want to lose our progress. Really, there's a cut out for the beetle to run through. Why did you run like that? A beetle? But you can't just. I mean, we're lucky to be alive. Don't worry. What's done is done. Now, let's find a way out of here. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's something with those light rays. What? There's something on the other side. We've got to find a way to open this door. Hmm. Too bad the professor barely taught me any of those hieroglyphs. Though these look like... smoking pipes? Maybe they have something to do with the cigar we found outside. And... Good heavens! Thompson? These here ring a bell, <laughs> don't they, Snowy? So it looks like the statues are all, yeah, all the same. Hmm. Squiggly lines on there. Does that mean squiggly lines have to the light on them? Is it that's how do we do that? Hmm. Oh, 
that squiggly line and a so nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Oh, okay. okay, no, the only one that's got a symbol is Okay, no. It's got a circle. Okay, maybe not. So how then? It just seems to be reflecting that symbol. Completely randomly, isn't it? Hmm. I swear that there should be a way to... somehow in there. I don't know if I'm setting myself up to complete this or I've just done it completely wrong.
It looks like the place where builders, or embalmers, or whoever worked here took their breaks. Yeah. That wasn't very exciting. I really would have thought that I was supposed to line those lights up with the slots on the doors, but facing the right way. I can only presume if this works that I have to do just each symbol at a time. See that, Snowy? The light beam from the statue is shining through the hole in the door. Aha. Fool, I should have noticed. I should have paid closer attention to the symbol in the statues. massive pillars that fall on there. So good, we haven't encountered any bugs so far. Let's see if it works. Bing, there we go. Let's be careful. Who knows what we'll find in there? Let's run in and find out. I hope you're not still thinking about the beetle. Do you see that giant kiosk symbol on the ground surrounding the statue? <laughs> I guess it must be some kind of door again. Speaking of which... Oops. Trapped That's forever. That's exactly what I thought. Okay. I wonder what this scale is for. Am I supposed to put something on it? I suspect something that's going to be found in each room. Quite involved. What 
Dash. This must be the kind of sleigh that the professor told me about. The ones that ancient Egyptians used to transport heavy things. Exactly like that's probably what they used to do the pyramids. This reminds me of something the professor told us about. The weighing of the heart. Ah. Ancient Egyptians thought that, when you died, your heart was weighed against a feather. If they balanced, you were rendered worthy of paradise. Hmm. hmm. Maybe we should find a heart and a feather and put them on the statue's weighing scale. Maybe. There's nothing inside. What kind of jar that would have organs in it, though. This one's empty. I can't think of what it's called. I had jars. And they mummify people that put their organs in particular jars. It looks like a crossing between rails, like the ones those other statues with the mirrors were mounted on. But what are those two holes for? Turn it. Look at all that sand pouring in. If we gave it enough time, it could fill the whole room. <laughs> well, hopefully you're not going to be around that long, Tintin. What kind of wood can last so many centuries? You're not lifting anything, Tintin. I could use the stick I took as a lever, but it's way too thick to fit between the lid and the arc. Hmm. Animation is I could use way. the stick I took as a lever, but it's way too I'd say it only opens completely when oh. something heavier than me stands on that exact spot on the ground. So, another there are two of them now. So what can we find? Nice oh. try, Snowy. But I think it needs something heavier than you and me together. I can't seem to move it any farther in this direction. Why? Got to use the two sticks. Let's hope all this helps me in the end. Oh no. That fallen stone is blocking the way, and it's too heavy to even think about moving it. Mm. Well, that is One cannot but wonder how much does a grain of sand weigh? Sure, Google has an answer for that. How many grains are in there? A million? So, what do we do to shift? Even if we shift that rock, it still looks like the ground is um, tra trashed.
Whoever made this statue in the shape of stairs, <clears throat> I sure appreciate it. Thanks to the developers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, I'm not going to fall. Don't worry. to the menu to check. I don't want to lose Move away, Snowy. Crashes. I wondered how much a grain of sand weighs, Snowy. <laughs> Just one million times less than one million grains. That's about how many grains are in here. Great! I hope it doesn't close now. to solve this. Oh, shit. I hate these things. I know you were expecting a beetle, but look, such an incredible piece of art, isn't it? I still want to know how Dr. Sarcophagus got through all these. I hope I did it right. Oh, look! A white gem! Did he 
take it. Hmm, it's empty too. Gosh, I think they told me about this when I learned to play chess. It's Senet, its ancient Egyptian cousin. Nothing like chess, though. Okay, we've got four... Four gems there, so I wonder what we... Do with them. How can I open it? Mm. Yeah, it's like a in, in the basin. It's in a stupid little part of me thinking. Am I missing something here, or is the game broken again? Maybe something that's going to give us some sort of instruction. Only this side left to fill now. Nothing in here. See, I would have thought the gems go in there. Then you take them out. One in each of these. And there's clearly slots there. But why is it not? Ah, it's a script. Uh oh. That sounded like the bad kind of click. Something bad's bound to happen. I can feel it. Here and here, maybe? Yes. I wish I could remember the names of all the gods the professor told me about. <laughs> okay. Oh, so here. These amphorae are full of scrolls. One can only imagine how many secrets are kept inside. So there's different coloured gems. So the gold one's purple. What's that? Gold one? Which 
leaves the orange one. This guy. Hey, we got it. There must be some trick to open it. What's happening, Snowy? Yes! Sweet. Oh my. That's the worst kind of click I've ever heard. Snowy. Hold on there. You all right, Snowy? Watch out, that was a jokes. close call, wasn't it? I hope that's the good kind of rumble, if there's such a thing. Let's go. beam of light shines all the way down to uh, our destination, I guess. If we've learned anything about ancient Egyptians, besides their love of self-closing doors, is that light beams point to the exit. Now that's better. Remember Chicago, when I climbed from window to window on that building? This is much higher. A tunnel? Bad luck, it's too small. Snowy, can you... I was gonna say, yes, yeah, not too small. Great. Snowy. But be careful, will you? We're so lucky you're smaller than I am.
think it is literally a maze. Any news, Snowy? You're actually Have you found a way out? I don't know. I think I'm just back where I started from. Tunnel must be really long. Hey, Mr. Carter. So, have you been reading anything on this trip away? You're taking care, aren't you? Where I bloody started from. Shit. Um, I was just asking if you were reading anything interesting. Snowy, are you all right? No, I'm not. Isn't it? I'm. Um, I'm lost. No idea where we're going. Everything all right? Anything. Are you much of a reader, Mr. Carter? Have you ever been? the same thing actually exactly the same thing I can feel completely away and I can get a couple of pages into pretty much anything and I'll um, be ready for lights out to go. It's, it's, uh, and this has taken me back around to Tintin. No, no it hasn't. Oh, there you are. I was starting to worry. Oof. Can you see if there's anything to help me get across? Actually pay it off. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Carter. I don't know where Chad is tonight. <laughs> I can only uh, presume that they've got their own stuff going on. I just went the wrong way. 
trying to say? I, I actually oh, don't know how to answer that, Mr. Carter. You never cease to impress me. Yes, old boy. You're amazing. Come on, let's keep moving. I can see it through two sets of eyes. Um, as a Tintin fan, it's amazing. Even with its flaws. Uh, if I was looking at it purely from a gaming perspective, it's not good. I don't feel it. There's lots of yeah. There's lots of issues. Pro, yeah, pros and cons. It's definitely a game that is purely for Tintin fans. That makes that Chicago building seem like a piece of cake. Anyone who didn't know or appreciate Tintin would not enjoy this game in the least and couldn't look past its flaws. The Professor's trousers? Poor man. He must be cold. They were just bats. They always managed to scare me. Oh. Shh! Do you hear that? Don't even think about opening that. Opening what? Bounce. So who's looting these other toys? Just yeah. Never run out of closing doors. The developers have definitely done a wonderful job of expanding on the source material. ends there, right next to that pillar. Huh, the Royal Cipher of Kiosk. If I know my ancient Egyptians, that's where we must direct the light beam. Sorry. 
there's a section right there. Oh, that's that's great fun. See how the most polished side of the prism reflects the light, Snowy? So, presumably that's... that's gonna go. Maybe? I'm not sure that moving this broken pillar will actually help. Why is it selectable then? It seems really odd. There's only two directions I can see at work. the ads guys Broken. That rubble on the ground must be the top. The top is broken, so it can't reflect the beam. Oh no, has it? Hmm. It looks just like those panels hanging above that reflect the light beam. It must have fallen. Does that mean I... On yes, it's I hope this does the trick. I don't actually know 
werewolf hunter. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about the ad, Mr. Carter. situations like this. I gave up on free to wear a long time ago. So I don't go, I honestly don't even remember. <laughs> have I have a vague recollection of watching a few episodes of Clock years ago. Master Chef episodes too from memory. I have a visitor. to excuse me for a moment, I'm going to have to uh, put this little one back down. <laughs> we will be back momentarily.
Okay, we are back. Fingers crossed. Oh, and the game did crash, which is good. Alright, let's see. It's sorted. Probably an attic for the night. Hopefully, Mr. Carter. Uh, Tonight on this, Mr. Carter, it's been a relatively bug-free night, which has made it a lot of fun to play. Must have powered them. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. This is interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing I've got to get all the. Rumbling was good, didn't we? That was easier oh, than I look. thought it's gonna be. We must be close to finding I figured. You oh, figured sarcophagus. Oh. I guess we figured. Originally, she was not a cat, but a liar. It's really creepy. Hmm. But then the ancient Egyptians tamed cats and made her look more of their time. A lot of people. This doesn't look like an ancient mummy. 
G H Carnivale. Wait, where have I heard that name before? Hmm. Oh no, that's incredible. The professor was right about the curse of the pharaoh. These are all the archaeologists that desecrated the tomb of Kiosk. Oh, poor souls. They pay dearly for their discovery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That looks like there's one I can. What is this? Some kind of hook? Interesting. These ones empty. No. Professor Sarcophagus. No way. It can't be. Snowy, we must get out of here at any cost. Yeah. Mm, these three empty coffins weren't made long ago. What is this doing among the coffins? I don't know what those things are called. Even more of these strange looking cigars. We're onto something, Snowy. I can feel it. Look, a trail of wax stains. Didn't they use it to preserve the mummies? They look recent, though. Any puzzles? So it needs an L shape. Um, it's the right. Yes. Okay. So we're missing a piece. Two pieces. Looks like an altar for mummified animals, the pets of Pharaoh Kiosk, perhaps. How strange. The wax trail seems to continue under this solid wall. It's a smooth, mm, this is interesting. Be our last puzzle to guys. It's odd how they sometimes portray the dog god Anubis as a real dog and other times as a human with a dog head. going to let myself be mummified. Hmm. I think that's what the professor called an ank. Showing the names this time is just doing a pan of the faces. Okay. I didn't find out. 
up with a stick or bang. the one with yeah. ah, so that another thing. ank a symbol of life according to the professor let's hope we get this right goodness oh, yes, a secret passage so people can breathe in here. Ah, uh, uh. oh, I can't open it. If only I had a lever or something like that. Chest thing. like it's some kind of shipping schedule with tides and timetables hmm. the handwriting is pretty sloppy the word sereno keeps coming up hmm. sereno it has a leak so that's where all that paraffin wax came from hmm I'm not an archaeologist, but that doesn't look like an ancient door. That does not continue. They took the head. Vandals. To be fair, they might not have. Maybe it's just really old and fell off. But what if I had a lever? Hmm. You just throw that in my back pocket. Identical to the one outside. <laughs> and the boxes are full of the same cigars. Maybe the answer to 
this mystery lies in... What's going on, Snowy? Ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to end it tonight. After this cutscene, you should. Snowy? I dreamt that this room was full of gas. You dreamt of the beetle? Forget it. It's not coming back. <laughs> oh, okay. Snowy! There you go. We're going to pause it there. And that is where we're going to end things tonight. Ah, oh, oops. No, not what we wanted. I might have just broken something completely. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Just out of blue. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed a relatively bug free Tintin game tonight. Apologies for the mic issues at the start, hopefully, they're all good for next time. And Mr. Carter, uh, little one's just a bit unsettled, and we're at a good part of the game to, to wrap things up for tonight. We got through the tomb, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, we'll continue it for the next time. Take care, everybody, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you all again next time. Good night. Let's, there we go. Enjoy the rest of your break, Mr. Carter. Sleep well. <laughs>